At One Court, we're working to make live sports more accessible for people with blindness or low vision, and we're doing that through haptic technology. What I like most about this space here at the 5G Hub is the support when we need to make improvements and to solve those problems that we're facing. Over the past six months, we've made a lot of progress across each of our teams. Some of the biggest updates include the new POC device. There's things that have been internally informed through just the struggles of dealing with the previous prototype. We learned that the assembly needed to be considered much more thoroughly, but now our work across design, hardware, and software has really come together for this version. One of the other big updates revolves around the use of audio in conjunction with the haptics. We learned it's, it's super challenging to learn haptics in isolation. You often need another contextual clue or sensory modality that's activated. So by generating shorthand audio description from the same data set that we generate the haptics from, we're able to create a much more holistic experience. The problem solving is not just what are the problems we're encountering today, but what might we experience in a few months when we're actually deploying this in a stadium. Our value comes from the relationships that we have with the community and making sure that we're actually solving a real problem. User testing and user research has helped us understand the pain points more and the um, impact that we're trying to achieve. To miss half of the information and half of the enjoyment of a football game, you know, it's a little frustrating and the device fills in a lot of that and you know, it just gives me a better sense of what's going on. What one court is doing is amazing. Being able to now know who has the ball, whether there's you know interference, touchdowns, all that you can experience all of that at one time and just be a part of something instead of just kind of feeling your way through a sporting event. Getting out and, and bringing in community members and talking to as many people as possible has just shown us what the real problem is and that it exists and how we might be able to approach it and design something that's useful. 5G really is the vehicle that gets us the experience that we hope to generate for people. When we initially came in, we perhaps underestimated how just how important that connectivity would be. T-Mobile enables our solution in the real-world environment. There's really no other way to put it.